Institutions of higher education operating in St. Lucia will now be subjected to an additional layer of scrutiny following the launch of the National Accreditation System. Implementation ensures students are able to be educated by institutions meeting internationally recognized standards of operation. With the multi-sectoral impact of education services, Education Minister Honorable Sean Edward reflected on the importance of upholding appropriate standards in training. As we are all aware, the absence of an accreditation council presents significant challenges for institutions, students, employers, and the entire education system regarding quality assurance, credibility, market competitiveness, international recognition, workforce development, and most importantly, fraud prevention, or what sometimes we loosely refer to as scamming. NAC underscores St. Lucia's commitment to nurturing a robust, transparent, and highly sought after education system. By holding our educational institutions and training providers to the highest standards, we are not only elevating the quality of education, but also fostering the overall development and competitiveness of our nation. In excess of $300,000 in funding was allocated by the government of St. Lucia and directed toward the establishment of the National Accreditation Council, NEC, in an effort to further improve standards in education. According to NEC Chairperson Dr. Allison Gajada Foster, the National Accreditation System presents the means to sufficiently validate the promises offered to individuals seeking to receive an education. Any certificate awarded by a post-secondary training institution operating in St. Lucia has, is evidence that the awardee has received this certificate through f transparent processes, fair and transparent processes. And not only that, that the institution awarding the certificate is delivering programs that are on par with internationally recognized standards. Delivering the keynote address, Chairperson of the Accreditation Council of Trinidad and Tobago, Dr. Ruby Aline, highlighted the value in expanding the pursuit of standards to establishing a regional body which holds national councils accountable. Our policies must also put measures in place to ensure that enrolled students are protected. Accreditation is not for sale. It is not a stamp of approval to be traded. It is therefore the responsibility of the NAC to ensure that the integrity and credibility of its processes are protected at all times so that public confidence in its accreditation will not be eroded. We are 13 strong when we number the individual national accreditation bodies in the region, but we are one people, one Caribbean. Let us embark on this journey together, exploring the synergistic potential of a truly collaborative relationship and united in our pursuit of educational excellence for all. The launch of the National Accreditation System comes on the heels of the annual World Accreditation Day observed in June under the apt theme, Accreditation, Empowering Tomorrow and Shaping the Future. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Kiba Talyam.